What does love mean to you? Alan. That's sweet. That's really sweet. And I think deep down we are all hoping and wishing that one day we will meet that person. Some call it a childhood dream that never got old, while others are living it and have lived it. A fantasy for one person is a reality for another one. And in today's video, I will share with you the love story of Betty White and Alan Ladden. A marriage that was formed and one that survived 18 happy years. And one that ended up with the real till death do us part. This is a motivation for women to know that just because they have turned 25, 30 or 35, it is not a reason to settle down and make a decision with fear disguised as practicality. We will speak about the way to go about dating for marriage like that. In the future, I will share with you more stories of women who found love later in life. Betty White was an American actress and comedian, a pioneer of early television with a career spanning for almost seven decades. She was noted for her vast number of television appearances, acting in sitcoms, sketch comedy and game shows. She produced and starred in the series Life with Elizabeth, thus becoming the first woman to produce a sitcom. She was born in January 17, 1922 and died in December 31st of 2021. She received various awards and nominations, including seven Emmy Awards. Now getting to her love life, over the course of her 99 years, White had three marriages. In 1945, she married a US Army pilot, Dick Barker, and then got hitched to Hollywood agent Lane Island from 1947 until 1949. She met her third husband, Alan Ladden, when she appeared as a guest on his game show Password in 1961. They were smitten, but White was a bit hesitant to get remarried. Ladden had to propose two times before White finally accepted his hand in marriage until they finally tied the knot in 1963. She and Ladden were married for 18 years, until Ladden passed away from stomach cancer in 1981 when White was 59 years old. Ladden eventually bought a diamond ring, but Betty White still refused him, so he wore the ring on a chain until she said yes. On Easter 1963, Alan sent her a romantic festive gift that won over her heart. A white stuff bunny. And in its ears were gold leaves with ruby, diamond and sapphire earrings, she said. Later that year, the two finally got married. So he bought a wedding ring, a beautiful gold wedding ring with diamonds all around it. At a dinner, he gave it to me. He said, you might as well take it because you're going to put it on one day. And I think of how nuts I was. I said, I am not, and I gave it back to him, and I said, that's it, that, that does. Well, he put it on a chain around his neck, and he wore it so that whenever, you know, we'd go to the beach, whatever, there was this blinking wedding ring and get full of suntan oil and, and all this stuff. Betty had said in several interviews that she regrets initially saying no. I spent a whole year, wasted a whole year that Alan and I could have had together, she told Oprah in 2015. A Hollywood producer, Lynn Bolan, once recalled their infinite honeymoon stage in an interview saying they are like newlyweds. When they can't be together at work, they call each other from their dressing room. In an interview, Betty White talked about their life together. He would call me from wherever he was working and say, you wanna go out to dinner? You wanna have a date? And I would say, sure. Well, going out to dinner meant he would stop on the way home and pick up a chicken and put it on a barbecue. We would put on a stack of records, have our barbecue and dance. We enjoyed each other. Sadly, in 1981, Ladden passed away from stomach cancer when Betty was just 59 years old. But she said countless times she would never remarry. When asked why, she would respond, I had the love of my life. If you have had the best, who needs the rest? Their friend said, I know what you had with Alan. I finally found it. I'm happier than I have ever been in my life. It was a lovely moment. Another of their friends said there was never a time that I am aware of that she ever thought of marrying anybody else. They had something really special that is not easy to find in two people. They connected on all levels and it was wonderful. It is sad it didn't last longer than it did. 
Another person said, I don't think Betty ever feared passing because she always wanted to be with her most beloved husband, Alan Ladden. She believed she would be with him again. And so Betty has lived a long life, but when asked why didn't she remarry, she said, when you have had the best, who needs the rest? And now I think that in a world full of cynicism about love and marriage, I was so happy to learn about their story. 18 years of happy marriage, respect and the old type of love filled with dates, loves and old-fashioned love. Imagine she stayed with her first or second marriage. She would never meet Alan and their love story would never be born. It was also Ryan Reynolds who said, don't let your wife stop you from finding your soulmate. We all see those couples. They seem like they were made for each other. My love. What I have found with you is the great love that I always hoped existed. Easy. Listen, Has yeah. it been easy? Easy. Like, the easiest thing in our lives, by far. We've never had a It's maddening argument. to some of our yeah. friends. I have a cousin, actually, every time we see him, he's like, his first question is, so have you had an argument yet? <laughs> like, well, I think that it's 100%, well, I would say it's 99% luck just to meet the right person. No, you have to meet the right the person at the right time that I think And suddenly the stories about destiny, God having a husband or wife prepared for you and twin flames are not so fantastic anymore. They are real. No one can guarantee that you will find a love like that. But I believe and decided that if I live once, I am happy to take a chance on a love like that. True connection and love found in another person. I think this type of love is worth waiting for. And and just as Steve Jobs said, if you haven't found it yet, keep looking, don't settle. As with all matters of the heart, you will know when you found it. And like any great relationship, it will get better and better as the years roll on. I think we are all worthy of having a love story like that and giving ourselves a chance to have and experience love like that. Only then the marriage vows make sense to me. The real till death do us part. I think happy relationships like that are both found and created. Could Betty have a happy marriage like that with any of the two previous men? I doubt that. She needed to find Alan. I also think that once you find a person like that, you need to work on the relationship. Go on dates, communicate, create memories and so on. But I truly believe a good relationship does not require so much effort. There are not so many issues that you need therapy to solve them. And the relationship should not feel like a lot of work. It was Amal Clooney who said that their friends are surprised that they never argue and I have seen so many other marriages like that. The ones that seem to flow effortlessly. I'm his home and our girls are his home and just like that 19 year old boy he races home. And now how do we go about lives until we find it? You see, Christians believe that God is preparing a husband for you and there is already a person that is waiting for you down the line. I think we need to live a happy single life, be open to people and socialize. So you give yourself the best chance to meet such person. You need to work on yourself until you find this person. If you are a believer, work on your relationship with God or on your spirituality. Work on yourself so once a love like that arrives you will be ready for it to receive it work on becoming the best version of yourself get to know yourself what are your values work on your limiting beliefs learn relationship skills like communication i assure you being married is not the ultimate price being married to the right person is just because the people around you get married and are married it does not guarantee they are more happy or fulfilled it is most probably the opposite. And if you are married already, take a chance on working on your marriage. There was something that brought you together and it is possible you can still create something beautiful out of it. You can go to therapy to try and saving it. But if it still feels so lonely, hopeless and difficult, don't be afraid to admit you have made a mistake and don't be afraid to get free. It may be your husband or wife preventing you from finding your soulmate, just like Ryan Reynolds said. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. As with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you find it. And like any great relationship, it just gets better and better as the years roll on. So keep looking, don't settle.